so the audio students are doing all the EV for this. So the, there's third year girls that are coming from all the, 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 the schools in the Barclay City Council. Fantastic panels to speak to that, but they're also seeing kind of a job opportunity that you can have in terms of the, of the kind of EV world. And, and to be honest, audio is underrepresented with the females, so it'd be great to have more females in that. So hopefully maybe we can inspire some of the, the girls that are attending to kind of think about this in terms of their career. Um, I find this uh, COP26 event is a great uh, place where we can practice on things. Yesterday I was in charge of mixing this, so I was uh, watching after all the sound levels of microphones and like sound in general. Um, today I'm going to watch after the background videos and be in charge of lights of the room. Um, anyway, I suggest every audio student to take a part in events like that because it'll just get you more practice. I mean, I've already known what I've wanted to do since I started at one of the looking game sounds. It's my specialty, but you know, this is uh, makes me more of a, you know, gives me more things to my arsenal, I suppose is the phrase. I can do more things, and it's something I can say that I can do, and I've worked in live sound previously, so this is just kind of an event that I get to do where I get to utilize those skills, I suppose. So. Initially when I was coming, it was kind of like getting sound, but getting to do more of a hands-on experience, I quite like, like the audio-visual side of things, and especially because it's quite an emerging market now, but uh, like post-Covid, <laughs> quite a lot of people are looking for audio-visual engineers, so yeah, it's pretty good to get all those good for it.